Hello and welcome my dear friends. I am Asang Dani and today I am going to show you how one can deal with the error condition that occurs at times when installing a quest course. Sometimes what happens is you buy a new quest course, you install it on your PC or laptop and while entering the product key which is printed on the sticker, you make a mistake. Instead of typing all the alphabets and numbers correctly, you incorrectly enter one of the alphabets or numbers. Now in that case, let's say that you try to do activation of your course. Let's see what is the user interface that Quest presents you with. Let me double click on the Quest icon on my desktop. When I do that, since my course has not been activated yet, I would be asked to activate it. I have two choices. One is online activation. Online activation is an option that I will be able to choose provided my current PC on which Quest is installed is directly connected to the internet. In my case, it is indeed connected to the internet directly. So I click next button and then I wait. Now read the message carefully. It says your course data structures could not be activated successfully. Product key NIVI 7 whatever for this course is invalid. Please check whether you have entered correct product key. If there is a mistake, click next. Now I am going to click next. This will give me an opportunity to correct the product key. Now I am going to again carefully see on the sticker what the product key was and enter it as it is printed there. 78x38 JWM 948B J J H 2. Now again, you can notice that once I have entered all the components of the product key, all the 25 alphabets or characters, the next button would appear. I click next here. You can see that activation proceeded after making the correction and I got the message. Congratulations, all your courses have been activated successfully. Now if I hit the finish button, I can see the data structure course very well here. This is exactly what will happen in your case if you have chosen to do online activation. Now sometimes the nature of mistake is the same, but you do not have a direct internet connection. Uh, in that case, what can you do? Now in such case, when you get a reply from quest support team, you just copy the response file on your desktop as you do with every other activation and then carry out the steps that I'm going to show you right now. Now suppose that you do not have an online internet connection to the PC, direct internet connection for the PC from which you are doing activation. You choose the method offline activation and that creates a request file on your desktop. What you have to do is you have to put this request file on a pen drive, take it to another PC that does have an internet connection and wait for the response from quest support team. Once they give you a response, you have to copy the response file which arrives as an attachment, right? You have to download it from your email, copy it to the pen drive and bring it back and place the response file also on the desktop. So, Let's hope that you have done it and now you have received a response. So I will show you what happens when you have actually got the response email from quest support team and that attachment quest underscore activation underscore response dot zip is something that you have copied onto the desktop. Now you can see that I have copied the response file onto the desktop. I double click the quest icon. And now again, as I had done earlier, I choose offline activation. When I click next, it says that request file was already created. Have you received the response from info at kshindia.com? If you have, please copy it to this PC, select its location and click next. Now the location that is selected is the desktop location where the file already lives. So I'm going to select this same location and simply click the next button. Now you can see that it again shows you a message that the product key that you had entered is invalid. Please check whether you have entered the product key correctly. If there is a mistake, click next. So I click next 
as i had done earlier in case of online activation i have to now again type the product key this time make no mistake now once i have entered the product key i click next and it says some of the course courses that are there could not be activated correctly you need to create a new request file and send it to info@ksetindia.com now i click on the finish button before i can create a new request file i delete the existing one on the desktop i again click on the quest icon i will choose offline activation and click next now you can see that the request file was indeed created on the desktop i click the finish button now as i had done earlier i am going to copy this on the pen drive take it to a different pc which has a internet connection and send it to info@ksetindia.com as an attachment so once i get the response from quest support team i again copy the new response file back to the desktop click on the quest icon choose offline activation method click next button since my file is already on the desktop i can click next button and now you can see that activation was indeed successful when i click the finish button i will see my data structure course right here so you can see that if you make a mistake while entering the product key you indeed have a chance to correct your mistake create a new request file send it as a attachment get a response back and then complete the activation process successfully i am sure lot of you have already got more than one quest courses even if you have let's say five quest courses out of which you make mistake while entering product key only for one of the courses you don't have to worry you don't have to uninstall anything you just have to edit that single product key the request file that would be generated on your desktop would be for that single course and once the activation is completed all the five courses that you have installed there would be visible here in this area where it shows the course selection tree and so on so i hope this video will help you deal with the error situation that you get into sometimes take care and have fun bye